Once you've finished shaping your neck, the next thing is to attach the neck to the body of the guitar. And there's a few things we have to check before we attach this. First off, you want to make sure that this mortise and tenon is a nice, good, tight fit. Uh, you don't want to have your tenon too long, and this one looks good. It's okay if your mortise is a little bit deeper than the tenon, and that one looks fine. And if you notice also, there's a little gap where our neck is attached to the body. So we're gonna take care of that, make sure that gets seated really perfect and flush. And the other thing we have to make sure of is our neck angle. And this is very important. When we cut that tenon with that jig with the router, that jig was holding the neck at a perfect angle that it needed to be. However, when we put everything together, if this neck angle is not the right angle, we need to make sure we adjust that angle to its perfect size there. Now, a way to check that, if you put your neck seated into your mortise and tenon there and held it really tight and firm, get yourself a long straight edge, put it right on top of your neck there, and right where the bridge is going to be attached, you're gonna have that sitting a little bit above your guitar, and you want that basically a quarter inch gap height. And that's gonna be right where that bridge attaches. So if we look at a guitar that's already done here, and we can take that straight edge and we'll just line that up and place that right where that bridge is gonna attach. You can see there's that gap and that's a quarter inch gap is what we want. So if we check on this guitar again, we're real close. It's actually probably just a hair high a little bit more than a quarter inch. So we're gonna adjust our neck angle. And if we do that, if we pull or down on this, you can see that we need to modify our neck attachment here. Now this is gonna take quite some time. We're gonna do a little bit of chiseling, some sanding, some other things. There's other tricks we can do to help get this neck attached really well. And so we're gonna show you some ways. This guitar is actually really close to being perfect, but there's some small adjustments we need to make on it. We're gonna make sure that gap gets closed up tight. So here's how we're gonna do that. If we take that neck off, when we assembled this guitar body, the block of wood that we glued on there that holds the two sides together, we curved that surface to match this arc of your guitar. And so we need to match that same on here. So we can take chisels, chisel this inside part here to match that same curvature of your guitar. Another thing that you can do, because that's kind of a tricky process to get that, is we can flatten this part here because this is already flat. So if we just sand this part flat, that should make the neck seat a little bit tighter. So we're gonna kind of do a combination of both. We're gonna try to flatten this out a little bit as well as kind of match this part of our neck to get that the same shape. Get yourself a little sanding block. I've just got some 150 grit sandpaper on there, just on a flat surface. And we're just going to sand the top of that guitar and try to flatten out right where the neck's gonna attach. We don't wanna to go too much. We still wanna have that curve there, but we're trying to just match where the neck is going to attach. The other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna modify this inside part of the neck to try to make that curve section of the guitar match that as well. So you can clamp your neck down to a bench top here. Just doesn't move on us. And then we'll take wood chisels. We can do sandpaper. There's all sorts of different things we can do, rasps. Um, and we'll try to shape that. Now, we so again, you're just tweaking that chisel at a slight angle and you're just kind of slicing down. Now this is end grain, which is a lot more difficult to chisel. So just take your time with it, making sure that both hands are behind the chisel, never having a hand in front of the chisel at all. That's why we clamp that. Okay, after you've chiseled a little bit, you can take that same sanding block. Again, you wanna hold this at that angle, kind of an inner angle, and you can just kind of do some fine tune sanding and shaping of this neck. Trying to get that to match perfectly right up here. So I've see where I've kind of flattened out a little bit with the sanding block here, shaping that neck as well. And we're gonna check that again and see if this fits. And we just want this to come together when you press it real tight. That way 
you don't have any gap anymore. That's gonna hold a lot better there. We're gonna check both sides here, make sure there's no gap. And that's looking quite a bit better. Might do a little tiny more sanding. Again, just trying to get that fit. Okay, now once we've got that neck pretty much exactly the shape that we want, and it sits nice and tight on our guitar, we need to insert our hanger bolts here. And these are just a quarter inch hanger bolt and they're about two inches long or so. The rougher threads here are gonna be inserted into the neck and then the, the machine threads are gonna be drilled a hole and then that'll insert into the body and we'll just attach it with some nuts and washers and things like that. And it doesn't really matter that you go all the way in to where the transition of those threads happen. I actually leave it short just a little bit so I have more length on that part there. So wherever we put these in, we want to just make sure what we measure here matches what we measure there when we drill those holes. The drill bits I'm going to use for this, uh, I've put some tape on this one, and that's the depth that you're going to be drilling in on the neck so you don't go too deep. And then this other drill bit's gonna be for the guitar. The drill bit that has the tape is a 15 64th drill bit. And then this other one is a 9 32nd drill bit. So the 9 32nd is gonna drill through the body of the guitar. The 15 64th is going to drill into the end of the neck here. I like to take some kind of ruler or some straight edge and the measure, and I like to go up an inch and a quarter a little mark and then my second mark I go around two and a quarter now again these measurements is not crucial we just want to make sure that the measurements are uh, spaced apart enough and then also we match those exactly on the opposite side now this neck already has a center line down the middle as well but if you haven't found the center of that just make sure those are marked center so again up an inch and a quarter and then two and a quarter from that fretboard okay then when we come over to the guitar body Use that same straight edge, and we're gonna line that up inch and a quarter down. So I'm putting the inch and a quarter right at the top of the guitar, and then just marking right at the very bottom of that straight edge. And then we'll move it to the two and a quarter, and then marking the bottom of the ruler. And we want these perfectly centered in this tenon as well. And so after you've marked the distance down, we're going to mark the center as well, left to right. I like to get my neck in a bench vise, maybe with some carpet so you don't damage the sides. Get this straight up and down. Again, this is that drill bit that's a 15 64 and I got some tape on there. And you're only going to drill down as deep as the tape is. Make sure that drill bit's perfectly straight up and down when you're drilling. This bit has a little brad point on the end that you can get positioned right perfectly where you need it. In order to get these hanger bolts into these holes here, instead of just trying to twist those in by hand, it's a little bit tricky, insert these hanger bolts into a cordless drill. So you can just remove one of those drill bits there and then just be careful, we don't want to strip any threads here, but you're just having just the tip of that hanger bolt just clamp down the drill bit on top of it. And then you can just use the drill and screw that hanger bolt right in. But again, we don't want to go where the thread transition happens. We want to stop a little bit before. Then we can undo that little black tip part of the drill and just loosen it up. That way you can insert those little hanger bolts. Stop when you have about a quarter inch of that thread remaining. Now we, know to, we need to drill the holes into the body of the guitar. We've already marked that same distance down. Again, this is from the top, the very front of the guitar down that inch and a quarter, and then from the top down two and a quarter where our marks are at. It'd be a good idea to take a scratch awl and just puncture a small hole lined up exactly where that drill bit needs to be so the drill bit doesn't wander. And we're using that 
nine thirty seconds drill bit. The, the bolt is a, a quarter inch, and so a nine thirty seconds bit is going to be slightly larger than the bolt, so it can just slide right through. Straight up and down, we're going to drill all the way through, punching all the way through to the inside of the guitar. you go to attach that neck, if those bolts don't line up perfectly and slide right through, you might have to ream those holes just a little bit larger. So we're looking at this one, it's just really close, but one of those holes is just barely off. So we're gonna take that same drill bit there and we're just gonna ream these holes a little bit larger. And so one of these holes here was just a little bit too low. And so we're gonna just take that drill bit and kind of ream it, put it in there and just kind of wiggle it around and just ream it and make it a little bit larger. Tweaking it left and right, just making that hole open up a little bit larger. Before we attach this neck to the body with those bolts on there, we need to add some little side dots. So you got your fretboard dots here, but right in line with those on the very side, we're just going to add this little white peg to that. And you'll just take this little drill bit, it's just a small little countersink bit, and we're just going to drill wherever those fret dots are at and just center that the best you can. And we're just drilling down the length of that drill bit tip there. Then take a little bit of super glue and just put a little dot of super glue on the tip of this. You don't want a whole lot, but just a small little dot. I'm just gonna shove that into that little hole there. It doesn't need to go in super deep. Just take some little cutters here and then just trim that. And we'll go down the line. Now on that 12th fret where there's two dots, go ahead and put two little white dots here as well. Shoving that in there. Again, it doesn't need to go very deep. Trim it. And again, we're gonna just sand over this as well just to clean it all up and solve. So we'll go ahead and get all of them. Again, on this 12th fret where there's two dots, we'll just go two holes kind of next to each other here. We'll just take a random orbit sander, just kind of clean up the edges of these fret dots. And then we'll go ahead and just bolt on our neck. Get that neck on there. We're just gonna take those nuts and washers, go through that sound hole. And it's hard to see, but you'll just make sure that those bolts are poking all the way through. And then we'll just screw those on. I've got a little wrench there that'll fit that. I believe it's a 7 16 When you tighten this up, make it fairly snug and tight. It should close any gaps on that neck if you need to. The other thing we're gonna check once you get this all tightened up is our neck alignment. We wanna make sure it's nice and straight. If this thing is skewed to the right or left at all, we can do some modifications and then get that thing on there perfectly straight and flat. Okay, we got this one bolted on. And then if you look down the neck, it's slightly to the right. And so we're gonna adjust this neck just back to the left slightly. Now, in order to do that, Obviously, we're going to unbolt it, but we're just going to sand a little bit more on this side. So when it bolts on, it's going to tweak more that way. We just do this in small amounts until we get that neck alignment, the right lineup that we want. So we need to adjust that neck. The angle needs to turn to the left slightly. So we're going to sand this part down a little bit more. And we're also going to, on our neck, the part that needs to turn, we're gonna sand that part as well. Just a little bit, just so when it attaches, it just tweaks over a little bit more. 
Okay, so we've sanded that angle down a little bit, just bolted it back on, and we're looking at that neck and it looks a lot more straight. And so if you need to do any modifications to that angle, we can do that. And this looks good. So we've got our neck attached.